Hello guys, this YouTube channel Path and Lighter, and this is this video is second in the series of statistics. This is fourth video on maths topic. It's important for all the exams, especially UPSC exams. And this is presented by me, Deepak Jaiswal. About me, I'm Inspector Six Two Twenty Six Nine One Sixty One in APMC, and they after joined as APMC in Ahmedabad and later resigned. Now coming to the topic, OJIP. What is OJIP? We have seen previously in the chapter what is cumulative frequency. To remind you, like suppose data is given two, four, six, and this frequency is given four, five, eight. So cumulative frequency will become four, then four plus nine, five, nine, then nine plus eight, seventeen. So this is frequency, cumulative frequency. When we plot it on a graph, it becomes cumulative frequency curve or an OJIP. Now cumulative frequency curve is of two type: less than type and more than type. And On less than type, it is upper limit corresponding cumulative frequency, and in more than type, it is lower limit corresponding cumulative frequency. Now I will explain it to you by an example. Suppose given zero to ten, there is six data. Okay, this is some, suppose cumulative frequency zero to ten six, then eleven to twenty is eighteen, then twenty then twenty to thirty. is suppose 24 26 25 okay 25 then when we plot it suppose this is the graph when we plot it so if we take this lower limit 06 11 18 21 30 21 25 then this will be called lower limit corresponding cumulative frequency then this will be more than type so we will plot here 06 this then 11 18 this Then 20, 30, then sorry, 21, 25. This, so we will get this type of graph. And when we will, when when we will plot 10 to take upper limit 10, 6, 26, 2018, and 30, 25, then we will get this type of graph. So where these two curves meet, suppose this this is this is of <coughs> more than type yeah, or lower limit, and this is of upper limit. The curve we get is. This so where they intersect, this intersection point is median of that series. So this is median. So with the help of OJ, we can we can get median of by drawing lower limit type and upper limit less than type and more than type. Clear? Now coming to mean deviation. Mean deviation is basically sum of absolute values of deviation from A upon number of observation. So for this, for mean deviation. may be obtained from from any measure of central tendency suppose there are two tendencies are uh, two tendencies that is one is from medium we will see one from mean deviation from mean about the mean and other will be mean deviation about the median this is mean deviation about the mean so mean deviation about the mean means suppose this is these these are the data for calculating this first of all we will calculate the normal mean which means average or arithmetic mean when we when we uh, by for calculating this arithmetic mean we add all this and divide it by and divide it by number of observations so it becomes 72 oblique 8 that is now this is mean now after finding out the mean we subtract each and every data from this mean so 6 minus 9 7 minus 9 10 minus 9 12 minus 9 12 minus 9 13 minus 9 So after subtracting it, we get the data minus three minus two one three four five minus five minus one three. So we will take out the sign. मतलब we will take means we will take absolute value irrespective of the sign. So we will add it all three plus two plus one plus three plus four plus five plus one plus three. So we get that we get total twenty two. And there since there are total eight observation, we will divide it by twenty two by eight, and we will get two point seven five. So this will be the required mean deviation. Clear? Now coming to second part, mean deviation about the median. Mean deviation about the median for the following data. So we know that for calculating mean, first of all we have to arrange it in ascending order. After arranging it in ascending order, we get three, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, and so on. And since there are total of eleven digits, this means this is odd. For calculating odd, we will add it eleven plus one upon two. It will become six. This means sixth observation will be the median of this series. So sixth observation here is nine. So nine. So nine is the median of that. Now we subtract each and every data from this median. Three minus nine, nine minus nine, five minus, and so on. After subtracting it, we will get six, six, five, four, two, zero, and so on. And 
we uh, like in the previous question we have eliminated all the sign we take absolute value that will that is we will eliminate the sign and then we'll add the add it all so after adding it becomes 58 and since there are total of 11 number of observation it becomes 58 oblique 11 that is, that is equal to 5.27 now coming to variance and standard deviation the simple formula is variance is nothing but it's variance and standard deviation st so standard deviation is square root of variance or variance is equal to standard deviation square okay it's root of variance is equal to standard deviation or variance is equal to standard deviation square this is the formula so now suppose you have to calculate the variance of the following data so this is the data given number of observation is 10 so we will, we will take this data as xi then we will calculate so since this is this so we have to cal calculate variance variance is nothing but variation so when we will when we, we have got the data arranged it then we will take mean we will find out the mean mean will become 150 oblique total number of observation 10 is equal to 15 so after getting mean we subtract it from the mean each and every data we subtract it from the mean after subtracting we get these figures minus nine minus one minus one again we will remove <coughs> we will remove the sign or no need of removing sign because we will square it in the next step so uh, after getting the deviation we will square it x i minus x that is this is square so we will get 81 49 25 and corresponding so on after getting this we will divide this x i minus x square upon total number of observation that is that will become 330 oblique 10 that is equal to 33 so since we have got the variance variance is nothing but that is square is square of deviation from mean so variance is equal to deviation of mean square so we will get 330 by 10 33 and since as, as we have seen standard deviation is equal to square root of variance so standard deviation is equal to square root of variance we will get 5.74 clear now suppose <coughs> their frequency some uh, some frequency is given so xi is the data fi is nothing but frequency that is 4 is repeated 3 number of times 8 is repeated 5 number of times 11 is repeated 9 number of times 17 is repeated 5 number of times and so on so after getting this we will calculate we will calculate xi minus x x x what is x x is nothing but mean so we will get 4 into 3 xi fi this is this is the total this is total this is sum of the total observation upon we will upon it by the total number of all this is sum of this is multiplication with data with data with their frequency after on adding this we will get sum of the total observation and on adding fi we will get the sum of the uh, sorry total total number of observation so sum of the total observation is 420 and total number of observation is 30 so we will get mean so one, once we get mean we will divide we will subtract it by the data given so 4 minus 14 minus 10 8 minus 14 minus 6 11 minus 3 and so 11 minus 14 we will get minus 3 and so on after getting this x i minus x we will square it on squaring we will get 136 9 9 36 and so on and sub, since this is of one data and there the frequency is 3 5 so this, this means this data is repeated 3 times 5 times 9 times so we will multiply it by the frequency so 100 into 3 300 36 into 5 180 9 into 9 81 9 into 5 45 45 and so on so this will be the <coughs> this will be the very total given then we will add it we will add it all and we will get 1374 at the sum so the total sum of observation is 1374 and total number is 30 so on dividing 37 by 1374 by 30 we will get variance that is equal to 45.8 and since we know that standard deviation is square root of 45.8 uh, variance that is 45.8 and, and we will get 6.77 now what is the purpose purpose suppose we have to calculate co coefficient of variation this what is this coefficient of variation Co coefficient of variation is nothing but standard deviation oblique mean into 100 so for comparing the variability or dispersion of two series we calculate the coefficient of variance for each series that is how, how much there is variation 
so the series having greater coefficient of variance is said to be more variable than the other the series having lesser coefficient of variance is said to be more consistent than the other now explain uh, i will explain it by an example suppose there are two plants a and b number of workers in one is 5000 in other is 6000 average monthly wages is 2500 for the first one and 2500 for the second one variation of variance of distribution of wages is 81 and 100 now the question is in which plant a or b is there greater va variability in individual wa wages so variation of this so suppose this is vari this is variance so this is variance from this we will calculate the standard deviation so since variation is 81 and 100 we will get a standard deviation as 9 and 10 square we will square root it 9 and 10 since the average monthly wages this 2500 2500 is same therefore the plant with greater standard deviation this means that b1 will have more variability this means this means that plant b has greater greater variable in the greater variability in the individual wages now let's see with another example suppose coefficient of variation of two distributions are 60 and 70 and their standard deviation are 21 and 16 we have seen the formula coefficient of variance is equal to stand standard deviation upon mean into 100 so by putting uh, by putting exponents to other means by putting it in the that formula we will get that x1 is equal to 35 and x2 is equal to 22.85 so this is all it subscribe to this channel for free education promote it among friends for any queries or suggestion mail us at athilaita and gmail.com so guys this statistics is completed now if you have any more query or question you can ask me in the comment section Thank you.